So two of the hot spots, not only in the Boise Treasure Valley area, but in the United States right now is Meridian and Nampa. So what we're going to do is we're going to really just compare both of them. The, the pros, the cons, the good, the bad, uh, the similarities, the, the, the differences, really everything you need to know uh, between both Meridian and Nampa, Idaho. So if that's the information you want, we're getting after it right now. What's up, everybody? My name is Jackson Wilkie. Sean Tomich. That's right. We are the Living in Boise team here in Boise. So if this is the first time to your channel and you want to know everything about what it's like to work, eat, sleep, live, play right here in the Boise area, make sure you tap that subscribe button and you click the little bell so you're notified every time we do a new video. And we honestly get so many phone calls, emails, texts every single day from people moving mm -hmm. and relocating here. We absolutely love it. So thinking about moving anywhere in the Boise area, make sure you give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. Days, nights, weekends, we got your back when moving to Boise, Idaho. All right. So, again, two areas that, um, you know, are very familiar with people moving, relocating here, if they're not thinking just Boise. But why don't we really um, start with how did how did Meridian and Nampa really start developing into two of the nation's hottest markets right now? When when was that and which one started first? Um, well, it would be Meridian that started first. Um, and Meridian started quite a while ago. Mm -hmm. Um, Meridian probably started really developing and getting established back in the early eighties, um, is when it really started taking off. Um, and Meridian was just a kind of like a tiny little dairy town, to be honest with you. Um, growing up, that's all it was. In fact, um, every summer in Meridian, we still celebrate Meridian dairy days. <laughs> um, with a big, huge carnival, they um, shut down and do a street parade and a car show, and it's a big deal. And I think that there's even a, a Meridian Dairy Days girl, like like a uh, like they, you know, yeah, yeah, the big know. bad, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So yeah, it's Malt so um, living, baby. Yeah, it really it it, it this obviously used to be very small town living, but um, what's really cool about Meridian is Meridian's kind of um, it's kind of landlocked by everything. So it's kind of centralized and in the middle of, of Boise, Nampa, Star, Eagle, Cuna. It's kind of just in the middle of everything. Um, and it's pretty well built out at this point. Um, there's still some pockets that, that they can put some new construction in, but um, it's pretty established and pretty well built out. And, and that kind of happened because, you know, Boise started blowing up and, and becoming a thing. Um, you know, back in the 90s. And, and, and what that did was that just pushed that growth out a little bit, pushed yeah. it out to Meridian, CUNA, and, and all of these what used to be outskirt cities. And then so that's kind of that's kind of what, you know, uh, got Meridian up and going. And then once Meridian got up and going, it just did the exact same thing to Nampa because once Boise and Meridian became um, kind of filled up. up yep. Yeah, it kind of built out, and, and then what would be considered expensive in this area, um, then all of the locals had to start moving out a little bit further, and so that actually really blew up Canyon County and, and Nampa, and Nampa had, has actually become um, several times within the last year, I've seen it on um, one of the hottest markets in the entire country right? because right. of that growth. Yeah, and, and also, you know, people take for granted all their shopping and malls and stuff, but... Meridian got their big shopping mall, which for Idahoans, that was life. So when yeah. that came in, um, the, the suburbs, the subdivisions really started blowing right. up, um, you know, correct, yep. right? Yep. So the Meridian Village, is a, it's a big deal. Um, it's very um, well established. They did a, a, a just a phenomenal job in, in putting it together and, and the architecture of the whole thing. And in fact, what's funny is I've... I, seen it you know for i don't know how many years now and so it's just kind of normal to me but someone is mentioning to it to, mentioning it to me the other day and they're like did they intend for it to look rustic and on top and and did they intend for it to look that way and i was like yeah that's exactly that's literally what they intended to do yeah and then it made me look back at it and i was like oh that really is pretty isn't it <laughs> but um it's just an absolute gorgeous shopping area um and business area because they've got all shopping down all below it and then above it is all um, um, business section and, and um, offices and suites. Um, in fact, there's some very nice offices and suites there that you can still even get into. And then you've got um, all of this wonderful shopping, Lululemon, which your wife, my wife, loves to go Dang to. And, you know, 
paycheck's just gone there. <laughs> but, um, and, uh, but you've got some really nice um, shopping, dining, all of that, and um, a very beautiful um, fountain right in the middle of, of this thing um, that uh, goes off every half hour yep. um, to music, just like down in Vegas. In fact, the guy that um, did the fountains in Vegas came and did the fountains in the village. Yeah, they got so skating rink in the center too in the, in the yeah. winter. And, and then uh, they, in the winter, they, they um, convert that to a skating rink. And in the summer, it's just all um, family concerts. So every Friday and Saturday um, in the summer like this, you're going to be able to go down there and, and um, park and take your family down there and, and just listen to live music and have food. And it's, it's, it's honestly, it's the place to be. Right. Whenever anybody's coming in here and they say, Hey, Sean, I've got a family and we want to be somewhere there and we don't know where I'm like, Hmm, Meridian. Meridian. Yeah. And that, yeah. that's it. Um, but there's a lot of similarities in Meridian. And, and what I mean by that is like neighborhood to neighborhood. You, you can't find uh, one that's worse than the other. And that's going to really nah. dictate, you know, the price ranges in there are, are going to stay pretty moderate. Um, there is yeah. a little bit of new construction kind of, uh, a little bit, you know, if you, you head out a little farther from, from Meridian where the new Costco is and stuff, but yes, it's pretty well built out. But in your opinion, what's like the big differences between Nampa and Meridian? Well, right now, one of the, the, the number one difference is going to be price. Right. I mean, that's the number one difference. That's the number one thing that's going to be on anybody's mind is price. Yep. And so that is the number one difference between uh, Meridian and Nampa or Ada, Can Ada County and Canyon County. Um, that's going to be the big difference. And so there is going to be a, a big price difference between between the two. Um, but then also, um, as far as like, just like you said, um, Meridian is very clean. Every, um, ha all of the subdivisions are all going to be very similar. Very similar. It's all clean. Right. It's all very well taken care of. Um, what's funny is that when people call me and they ask me about these cities and they ask me about places like Meridian and, and, and Boise and they say, well, what's, you know, like, what's the homeless situation like and things like that. And I, I don't mean to laugh, yeah. but I do because we don't have that. We have none of that. We have zero homeless here. I mean, do we have homeless? Sure. I'm sure we do, but we have places for them. Yep. So there's not, in fact, they, people have asked me like, well, where do they camp at or where do they set their tents up at? I'm like, I'm sorry, but we don't have that here. In fact, we don't have one tent set up. I couldn't go out anywhere in Boise, Meridian, Nampa, Caldwell, CUNA, anywhere in any city here and see a homeless tent set up anywhere. Might be a little too yeah, old. No, and that, that's kind of the picture, um, you know, painted here. And, I, and that's, I guess, if we really dive deep into like, uh, you know, better neighborhoods, better, better yeah. suburbs of Boise, which one's better, better schools. It's, it's Idaho. Like, man, right. I, I have no problem with my kids going to any of the schools, going to any of the areas. Yep. So there's no real difference there. But to me, you know, and, and seeing these these areas develop, you know, over the past few decades, like Nampa to me is more of like, obviously, it's a little bit more affordable, but it stretches you out from the city. But now you've got the lake. Um, you have more like scenic. It's more rural. It's more like yes. outdoorsy to me. Yep. Uh, man, I mean, you can't escape the smell of the sugar beets, but <laughs> but yep. it's just so, it is more outdoorsy to me. Um, and th those are the people that kind of tend to to live out that way. Other than affordability, and I don't need to be right close to downtown. Absolutely. And so, yeah, like like I said, and, and like you've touched on as well, as as the affordability is usually the number one thing that drives people to that area. But other than that, there's there are a lot of advantages of, of living in Nampa as well. Um, but uh, but yeah, uh, and yes, you're going to smell the sugar beet factory from time to time, kind of like you mentioned, if, if you want to move out to Nampa. But well, I, I actually did um, last month, I uh, put a family down um, in a subdivision next to the sugar beet factory. And that was one of the things that we talked about mm -hmm. uh, online. Um, we did a Zoom call and I talked a lot about it to him. I said, hey, you know, I, this is something that I have to explain to you before you come and move here because you're you're buying this house before you even move here so i need to make sure you understand and he's like is it unbearable or you know like 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 what is it like like can we go outside i'm like it's nothing like that like it's just it, you can smell it you know it smells and like i said to everybody has a different way of describing it i describe it as boiled peanuts there's just, it's just moist peanuts it's a weird smell but you smell it from time to time is it all the time not at all not at all and it's but, something that you actually get used to 
reasonably oh, yeah. quick um, to where you'll, you'll forget. It's like going to Lewiston, Idaho, and they have the paper mills down there, and we call yeah. everybody from Lewiston butt wipe because they make toilet paper there. But uh, yeah. when you drop down over the hill, you know, into Lewiston, you oh, my gosh. But, you know, you we would go play, you know, Lewiston High School in basketball or something, and by the end of it, you don't even – uh, smell it anymore, you know. So uh, it's not harming yeah. you in any way. It's just a sugar beet, you know. Hey, this is real. Yeah. Like you're gonna drive through farm fields, no matter you go Absolutely. east, southwest. Um, but Meridian, I would say, like if you're really just, I want the can't miss suburb uh, for my family. That's yes. where you want to be, and you'll find it in Nampa too. And there's new schools Absolutely. in Nampa. Uh, yeah. But I guess that's a huge difference. Yeah. And so and it's just like you've talked about. So Nampa, yes, it's going to be much more rural than it is in Meridian because there is more space. And so that is where we grow a lot of food. Mm -hmm. And so we have a lot of farming here, a lot of crops, a lot of food, a lot of corn. You'll see a lot of corn, alfalfa, you know, things like that. Um, but uh, yeah, you'll, so we have a lot of that in Nampa um, in which it's, it's, it is more rural. And so um, also the thing about Nampa that's different as well from Meridian is that we have, um, Nampa is a very old established city. And yep. so the majority of the College. center of Nampa, it's all um, 40s and 50s. It's mm -hmm. all both of the 40s and 50s. In fact, it's actually some pretty cool homes. If you're looking for anything that's that mid-century or anything like yep. that that's, that's older, those are some really cool homes to get in and they're very, very well built. Um, but that is one of the differences as well is that we do have a lot of mix. Nampa's got a lot of mix of old and new, um, and then you also have some mix of some high end and some, I don't want to say low end, um, but, um, some more affordable homes, I guess is what I would prefer to say. Right. You know, there's golf courses and obviously the lake and stuff out there yep. too, but let's, let's, lake touch is real, there. Um, let's touch real quick too, because I mean, these are the areas that are developing one Nampa is self-sustained now. So all of its shopping yes. stuff, but two, there's some major companies starting to work their ways out to the Meridian Nampa area. Mm -hmm. um, for, for jobs. I mean, let's just kind of touch on that too. Well, you should have prompted me on that one. <laughs> no, but, um, it, right. But let's first talk about oh, the, uh, the, the, shopping, yeah, absolutely. You know? so one of the things that I, uh, that was just actually built out in Nampa, Amazon hub. That's uh, right, yep. what, yeah, that thing, that thing is ginormous. I think ginormous. It, <laughs> ginormous. Um, and I created, guess I put you on the spot there, but that's what I was talking about is that Amazon. Yeah. Hub, but, um, I guess to cut you off real quick, the, the cool thing about this is when, when major companies are coming, you know, and, and finding these areas to, to put their big warehouses, like they're doing research. So they know that this, th this area is growing. Uh, and obviously, yeah. you know, you moving here with your business, you know, there's affordable, um, actions to take to, you know, move your business, but sorry, I'll, I'll let you keep going. You know, there's the Amazon well, there and there's shopping in both. You're absolutely correct. In fact, one of the things that um, that a lot of smaller businesses that are intelligent will do is they follow big business because because it's just like you said, big business does their market research for usually five to 10 years before they jump into a market. Mm -hmm. So whenever you see wherever um, Costco is going to go yep. or um, Olive Garden, these, you know, these Amazon, very yep. big, you know, Amazon, obviously Amazon, that's Jeez. a very well known name. Who'd have thought anytime, in Idaho? Like, what? Yeah, anytime <laughs> you see these big um, businesses set up camp, if you're a small business and you're smart, usually you want to follow the big business. They've already done all the research for you. Yep. And so, in fact, you'll see a lot of, um, and I don't even mean like small business like mom and pop, but smaller businesses than Amazon will all follow Amazon construction companies you name it so yeah um they, i mean they border each other they're very close they're both out yeah. just west of of boise they have great uh incredible access to freeways so you can zip around anywhere mm -hmm. there are some major uh differences as well and that's one thing that you know we love doing when you reach out is hey i love this kind of living this style of house and then it's like boom the the you know, Sean's brain starts going crazy. Yeah. Yeah, exactly the neighborhood you're talking about, which is very tough for you to find on a map or reading. So um, we it love is. helping anybody, you know, move here, find their perfect spot so they can thoroughly enjoy that Idaho lifestyle. Um, but the only way that we can help you is you have to reach out to us. You got to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. Days, nights, weekends, we got your back when moving to Boise, Idaho. And until the next video, guys, we'll catch you later. Thanks a lot.